Hi everybody! Today's lesson is place value, expanded form with arrow cards. Today's learning objectives are to explore place value concepts with arrow cards, to build numbers with arrow cards and write the standard form, and to represent and write numbers in expanded notation with arrow cards. For today's lesson, you will need a whiteboard marker and sock and your place value arrow cards. Press pause if you need to get those materials. When looking at place value, we are looking at the value of each digit in a number. This is a one digit number. Here's a two digit number, 36, and a three digit number, 316. The value that a digit has depends on its location in a number, where it's at in a number. So for three, where it's at in the number is in the ones place, so the three in this number represents three ones. In this number 36, the three is in the tens place, so it is worth one, two, three tens, or 30. And in 316, the three is in the hundreds place, so it is worth three hundreds, or 300. And you are familiar with these tools, base 10 blocks, for using place value. We can show that on a place value mat as three hundreds, one ten, and six ones. If we put that all together, we get the standard form of a number, and that's 316. If we break apart 316 into its place value using base, base 10 blocks or other tools, we get 300 for the hundreds, 10 for the tens, and 6 for the ones to show the value of that number and its parts. In today's lesson, we will be using a place value tool called arrow cards. These are the arrow cards. The arrow cards come in ones and tens and hundreds. And we can put them together by layering them on top of each other. It's very important that we want the arrows for each number matching up with the arrow of the other number. So I'm going to take this 10 and put it right on top, matching that pointy arrow part. And I'm going to take this 6, which is six ones, and match that pointy arrow right there. So what is the number that we have made with the arrow cards? We've made the number 316. We took those three parts, 300 plus 10 plus 6, to make 316, and that's the standard form of that number. Let's practice a few. Get your whiteboard marker and sock ready. And for this lesson, you'll also need to have your arrow cards ready. Take out your arrow cards and make this number. You'll need your 100. You'll need a 40. And you'll need your 1. Put them together to make the number and then write the standard form. If I build that number with these arrow cards, 100 plus 40 plus 1, matching up those arrows carefully, I get the number 141. And I write it in standard form, just like this. I want you to try one more. All right, I want you to get your arrow cards and build this number. You'll need your arrow card 900, your arrow card that represents 90, and your arrow card that represents 9. After you build the number, I want you to write it in standard form on your whiteboard. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check. Let's see how you did. Here's my 900 and my 90 and my 9 ones. If I build this number with my arrow cards right on top of each other matching those points, I get the number 999, and that's the standard form. Let's try one challenge. All right, I want you to take out your place value cards for 500 and 6, and then write the number in standard form. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check. All right, so here are my arrow cards for 500 and 6. I have to be careful about this. If I put it here, it looks like I have 560, but my arrows don't line up, so I need to move this right over here. So the number that I've made with my arrow cards is 506. The next thing we're going to do is look at breaking a number apart. So you'll still need your arrow cards and your whiteboard marker and sock. 
So when we break a number apart, what we're doing is making it bigger or expanding it. We're taking that number and breaking it apart and making it bigger, making it show it all of its pieces, kind of like blowing up a balloon or using a slinky. So what we're going to do now is work through the opposite, which is to take that number that's already in standard form, the regular way a number is written, and expand it or break it apart into its pieces. What I want to do is get my base my arrow cards, my place value arrow cards, and make this number. And I want to make sure that the arrows line up again. So if I put them like this, again, my arrows don't line up. I need to have all of my arrows lined up. And then I check, does this number with my place value cards look like this number right here? It does. So then I'll break it apart, I'll expand it. And here are my parts to the number, my place value parts. I have the hundreds, which is 500. I have 20 for the tens. And I have 9. So right here is what we call expanded form. 529 is the same as 500 plus 20 plus 9. Let's try a couple on your own. All right, let's read this number together. 117. Take out your arrow cards and make this number. When you're done making the number and it matches this, I want you to break it apart or expand it and write those parts just like this on your whiteboard. Press pause to work. Press play when you're ready to check. All right, let's check your work. I built my number and it matches this. And now I'm going to expand it, break it apart into its pieces, always with hundreds, then tens, then ones. So my expanded notation is 100 plus 10 plus 7. Let's try one challenge. Are you ready? All right, let's see how you did on this tricky one. Our number is 304. Sometimes we want to take this 3 and this 4 here and put it like this. But it doesn't match up. I can't get those arrows to match up and have it match this number. So I know this is wrong. I'm going to put that back. So I'm going to try four ones instead. Match up my arrows. Now my number matches. So be careful with numbers that have zero in the tens place. So expanded form then would be 300. How many tens? Zero and four ones. And that's our expanded form. That's our lesson for today on expanded form using arrow cards. I hope you enjoyed your lesson. Make sure you use those arrow cards if you need them to do place value.